trees, gentlemen, gungans, joints, kitty moody, they can cone heads with those extended lifespan. And you know what? Big shout outs to all of you exiled Jedi who somehow mastered the art of riding space whales and ended up in a whole other galaxy. That's right. You're watching on old Howling at News, the only news you'll ever need because you have no other choice. And today we have the next conquest characters, Kit Reveal, Ezra Bridger, Exile. Oh, this is a really good looking kit. A lot of plug and play viability. And I think we kind of get glimpses and nods towards what the upcoming Galactic Legend Ahsoka Tano's kit's gonna be because, well, spoiler alert, the developers tell us here that this is supposed to be the lifter unit to Galactic Legend Ahsoka Tano. So the Commander Tano to Master Kenobi, the Maul to Lord Vader. We're supposed to be seeing that here with Ezra Bridger. Couple things to highlight before we get into the, you know, the nitty gritty of the kit. A lot of stuff to unpack. First off, a brand new tag, the Spectre tag, alongside with the Jedi tag, which is gonna be good for other options in case you aren't gonna be able to rock a Galactic Legend of Sokotano anytime soon. And regarding the Spectre tag, it's supposed to be nodding to the crew of the Ghost and by extension, Ahsoka Tano. So I presume that the new Galactic Legend of Sokotano will have a Spectre tag that we're gonna be seeing as well on top of that. Also, furthermore, you'll be able to unlock this character before Galactic Legend of Sokotano. So what does that tell me? By deduction, obviously, we're not gonna be seeing Galactic Legend of Sokotano until November at the earliest, the earliest. You guys know how Conquest Grime, it's gonna be starting up on September 2nd, this upcoming in the next Monday, and two weeks on, then you get a week off, and you're not looking at uh, uh, Ezra Bridger to be unlocked until late October, early November. So we still got a while before Galactic Legend of So Katano gets in game, which gives you guys plenty of time to try to keep up with all those crazy relic nines. And I guess on top of that good news, there's a lot of worry that he was gonna be required for Ahsoka, seeing that how we had two conquest units required for Leviathan. Uh-uh, not happening here. So good stuff that we have going on. We can go over some of the other stuff here. Afterwards, I think we kind of covered the main things. We're gonna get into the kit now, and there's a new exiled effect, which you can kind of read a little bit here, which is kind of like an isolate in a, in a kind of a weird way. And also, let me just give you some highlights of this guy. Big protection, health recovery, big, 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 big abilities to prevent cooldown manipulation on your team and insta-kill immunity. So right now we're already seeing kind of the groundwork of things that Galactic Legend of Sokotano is gonna have at her disposal. So with all that said, feel free to read this if you want. I'll pause it right here, give you a little a happy face. <laughs> you can read all this here too if you wanna kind of get into the minds of the developers who designed the kit for Ezra Bridger Exiled here. With that said, it's time to get into the kit reveal itself and show you what we got. Starting off with the basic ability, the Fugitives Defense. Deal physical damage to target enemy and inflict speed down on them for three turns. If this attack scores a critical hit, Ezra Bridger Exile and another random ally gain foresight for one turn and the target enemy is staggered for two turns. So if we're able to get Ezra to a critically hit a lot, some crit chance might play an important role. You know, you kind of got to wait and see when the character comes out to really understand the full potential. This guy's got a lot of weird stuff going on. He's even got a resilient defense spoiler. So he's going to be kind of like Savage in a way. So modding's kind of seeing a bit weird, but critical hits are going to lead to a nice little payoff with some of these abilities here. But the real stuff happens down the road. We have Kanan's Legacy, special ability with the Omicron. You might be wondering, what's the Omicron? Please be Grand Arena, please be Grand Arena. It's Grand Arena Omicrons, baby. No territory battles, not even territories, not galactic challenges, not conquests. The right way, Omicron should be for Grand Arena. So good news on that part right there. But check this out. All allies, regardless of affiliation, you don't have to be Spectre. You don't have to be Jedi. You don't have to be this or that. All allies will cover 40% health and protection. That is like a, a version of Hermit Yoda, basically. So that's gonna be very powerful. I'd say maybe even a little bit better than Hermit Yoda, potentially. But check this out, that's not all. We got more stuff here. You're gonna grant all Spectre allies. So the, the crew of the ghosts, and by extension, so Katana, as they said, 50% protection up. 50% protection up. Grant all Spectre allies and the target ally 50% protection, that is huge. And if I'm understanding this correctly, you know, you, you gotta wait until, until you actually roll it out. 
But what if you target an ally who is a Spectre ally? Do you get the double dip? Do you get two rounds of protection up? Does that mean you get 100% protection up? So everyone gets it, and then one other person gets an additional? That sounds pretty gnarly. Remember, protection up is based off your max health, so a lot of max health is a good thing likely to benefit from this. For two turns, and this spell, all debuffs on them. A cleanse ability, a very nice, very nice. And then target other ally <laughs> attacks, and Ezra Bridger exile assist. Dealing 40% more damage and both receive bonuses based on their tag. So if you're a Jedi, you're gonna get tenacity up for two turns, which is nice, right? And then unaligned force user getting defense up for two turns. You could technically use this with Star Killer if you wanted to. That could be something to look into to plug into the Jedi slot. Here's the thing about Star Killer lineups, especially ones that are running Palpatine, Mara, Jade. Generally, the Jedi and the light side unaligned forces are at the time of now, before Ezra Bridge, or at least are generally some of the least important things. Yeah, you know, old Ben gets an ability block. And I'm not saying they're useless, but generally pop team RJ to run a train. But nonetheless, you have the option and a, probably a good option at that. To use Ezra Bridger inside of a Star Killer lineup. And then it's Spectre backup plan for two turns, which can't be copied or dispel and repost for two turns. My prediction is that Galactic Legend of Sokotano, it's not that crazy of a prediction, it's gonna be an unaligned force user and it's gonna have the Spectre tag. So likely giving them defense up as well as all these other backup plans. Remember backup plan is something on a Harrison duel. We don't really get to appreciate it that much, but it's kind of like a nice little backup revive, you know, and something in case something goes south. So being able to give this to all your guys here, uh, that, that's kind of a big deal. So yeah, kind of got a revive baked into this. So I mean, I don't know, <laughs> we have to wait and see, but man, did you imagine being able to revive Galactic Legend Ahsoka Tano? That sounds like pretty nutty. Again, we're assuming. And you know what happens when you assume you make a you know what out of you and me. But furthermore, we're not done. We're not done. Additionally, if the target ally is a Jedi, Light Side Online Force or Spectre, they gain a bonus turn. Yeah. If the target ally is a Spectre, they also gain a hundred percent offense on their next turn and will dispel all buffs from the target enemy, blind the target enemy for two turns, which can't be evaded on their next attack. Again, I, I, if I had to make a guesstimation, Galactic Legend of Sokotano is probably gonna be an attacker. You know, we, you know, we haven't had an attacker in a minute. You know, the last one was a tank and the one before that was a support character. And you know, generally attacking Galactic Legends, they're kind of sexier, I think. But nonetheless, that's just all guesstimation at this point. We got more to read. Let's not get all caught up in the weeds of this. Ezra is gonna gain two stacks of resilient defense and five stacks of Pergo migration. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, we're getting a little Pergo action going on here. It's gonna be kind of like, and it's sort of like a star killer, you know, when you unleash him in a way, it's, it's sort of like the generator for the Gungans where once you deplete all the stacks, you know, it, it takes a bonus turn, it does some cool stuff. It's kind of like that. You're gonna understand more as we go down below, but, while in Grand Arenas, Ezra gains 25 stacks of Purgle Migration, and all Spectre allies gain backup plan for two turns, which can't be copied or dispelled. Oof, man. I know backup plan, it's, it's, it's kind of a niche thing for Harris team, because again, only one person can have it, but if you can give it to everybody, that's gonna be annoying. That's gonna be annoying. You're gonna need to make sure you're running teams that have like some sort of anti-revive mechanic baked in there. But we're gonna understand the Purgle Migration later on, and then we have the resilient defense, so again, kind of like a Savage Opress, Mace Windu, type of thing that we got going on. People, <laughs> that was only the first special. <laughs> There's a number two special here. During advance, Zeta, Omicron as well, and a cooldown of three here. Deal physical damage to target enemy three times. Inflict healing immunity, offense down for two turns, which can't be resisted. And then for each critical hit score, reduce the target enemy's defense by 30% stacking for one turn. So bigger damage potential. And this attack gains 10% critical chance for each Spectre alley. So again, I'm assuming that the Galactic Legend of Sokotana team is gonna be a Spectre-oriented team. So 50% critical chance, yeah. And if Ezra scores three critical hits, the target enemy is stunned for one turn, which can't be copied, dispelled, or resisted. Good stuff they have. Stuns that get resisted aren't fun. Unresistible stuns, yeah, a lot more fun, I guess. <laughs> as long as you're not the receiving end of it. But that Grand Arena Omicron starts kicking in. For each critical hit score, deal 20% damage based on the target's max health. <sighs> so again, this is why we need those crit chance mods. Likely dialed in, unless maybe all the stuff that we get granted just for being inspectors, make sure it's pretty easy and not issue to land critical hits, but man, that's gonna be pretty nutty. So if I understand this, so he can hit three times potentially, you know, three critical hits. 
60% damage based on the target's max health. Again, it just sounds disgusting. This guy's got so much going on in this kit, which can't be made. An engine flick, buff immunity, healing immunity, off its down for two turns, which can't be caught, but it's spelled the resistant. Then you get to reduce the cooldowns of daring advance by one. Wow. Uh, yeah, there is some pretty crazy stuff going on in this. Again, we just got through the special release. Wait till you see the unique abilities. What this has to offer here. Exile, the unique ability number one. <sighs> Gosh. I hope you guys have your degree in Swagology because, yeah, this is one of those, like, just word vomit kits here. At the start of the battle, all light side allies gain foresight for two turns. All specter allies gain tenacity up for two turns. And Ezra Bridger is exiled for the rest of the battle. We're going to start understanding that in a moment, which can't be copied, spelled, or resisted. So... Again, my predicament, my prediction, my situation here is that I think with the Galactic Legend of Sokotano team, it's going to be a light side Spectre team. So everyone's going to have that foresight at the very start, getting tenacity at the very beginning. Sounds kind of na na nasty. It's kind of like almost like how Janet Revan starts off the battle in, in a way, you know. Uh, so again, pretty good stuff that they got going on. So number one, another way of getting more resilient defense at the start of Ezra turns. He gains two stacks of resilient defense, going to a maximum of four. And why is that going to be important? Well, we're going to check it out here. The first time each ally is exiled, they also gain 30% critical chance, 60% defense, 100% max health and protection for the rest of the battle. Man, doesn't sound all that bad to be exiled. There is a bit of a detriment as we're going to discuss here. But the first time each ally loses exile, they gain 30% criti critical chance, 6% critical damage, Offense, potency, and 30 speed. So, hey, you're going to get a nice bonus there. You become, you, it looks like you become more offense oriented when you kind of turn off the exile mode, right? You know, if you're exiled, you're kind of like in a hermit state, you know, you're kind of internal mode. That's kind of the way I interpret it. But the first time Ezra's exiled, enemies can't assist or attack again if their attack is targeting Ezra. So it's in a way kind of like a Darth Revan. You can't assist this is the way I'm understanding. You can't assist or attack if the target is Ezra. So it's kind of like a Darth Revan thing that when Ezra loses exile for the first time, when he performs an ability, you call a random ally to assist. And then and here's, this is a big screw you to Commander Tano. Allied Spectres have instant defeat immunity while Ezra is active. It's not like, you know, Ben Solo where it's a temporary thing. This is as long as Ezra's active, you can't insta kill. So a big F you to Commander Tano. It's basically saying it's time to upgrade to Galactic Legend of Soka Tano. Here's the downside of Exile here. You can't attack, you can't gain buffs, or gain other positive effects during another character's turn. Great bosses, Galactic Legends said can't gain buffs, and any character who damages them, they gain critical damage up and health steal for one turn. So there's a bit of a detriment to having it. Then while in Grand Arena, the first time a Spectre ally gains or loses Exile, they also gain 5% uh, mastery per Relic level on them. So here, if you have nine Relics on the character, yeah, you're gonna get a much bigger benefit here. Then the first time the Spectre ally loses Exile, they gain an additional 30 speed, and these bonuses persist through defeat. So when you get revived through backup plan, you don't gotta start over again. You still have what you worked for here. And then we get into our unique number two before we start tying this all together. The Force is my ally, Zeta ability. Ezra has plus 20% critical chance, and whenever he is inflicted with a debuff, he recovers 25% health. Again, you kind of got to see it in action. If you were going to need those critical chance mods, I mean, there's a couple ways of getting it. As long as with Spectre allies, you know, he gets a little bit more here. It might be enough. You have to wait and see for the actual numbers he's rocking. Light side allies can't have their cooldowns manipulated by enemies. So, for example, Nihilus's, they can't increase cooldown. This is sort of a better version uh it depends i don't know if it's a better version of galactic legend leia because galactic legend leia shuts down all cooldown manipulation even the enemies here everyone still can manipulate you know their own cooldowns but the enemies can't mess with you so it's kind of a you know maybe i think leia probably still has an upper hand but still having that so your your team's not gonna be messed with by cooldown manipulation it's kind of a big deal then when ezra uses an ability he gains five stacks of purgle migration so we're gonna start looking at this so check this out uh, when Ezra uses an ability, five stacks of Purgle Migration, which goes to a maximum 50 for the rest of the battle. When he deals damage to an enemy, he gains two stacks of Purgle Migration for the rest of the battle. And this attack scores a critical hit, he instead gains five stacks of Purgle Migration. Kind of feels like Star Kid when you land critical hits, you know, you're going to move the ball a little bit further. Then finally, 
when we reach 50 stacks of Purgle Migration. This is kind of where it, it sort of feels like the recharge mechanic or whatever on the generator for Gungans. He gains a bonus turn, recovers 100% health and protection. And then the next enemy Ezra damages with an ability, they will be exiled for the rest of the battle. So here you kind of pass over the exile on him. So kind of a cool little thing they got going on here, which can't be copied, spell deviated or resisted. And all enemies are inflicted with ability block for one turn, which can't be copied, dispelled, evaded, or resisted. Ezra loses exile all of a sudden. And then Purgle Migration, it's got some other benefits too. You're gonna get plus one defense, plus one tenacity. So as you build the Purgle Migration, boom, you're becoming a little bit more, you know, a little bit more durable. So there's, there's, a, there's a double benefits to this here. So people, that is a lot going on in this kit. And here is Meathead's lovely artwork here. It's probably better than the official artwork for Capital Games uh, from, from their 2D character artists out there. I hate to say, hate to say. Anyways, let's try to concise everything you consumed here. Number one, Ahsoka Tano is not gonna be unlocked until November at the earliest, maybe December, we don't know. But furthermore, on top of this, this guy's got some multi-uses. So if you're not gonna get Galactic Legend Ahsoka Tano, I think we, a lot of us can agree, there's a lot of good stuff outside the Spectre factions. You know, Jedi's, you know, maybe some Master Luke action, Jedi Revan, Jedi Luke, all that good stuff. Maybe even Starkiller, potentially. He's got some unaligned Force user synergies kind of baked in there. For me personally, the one thing that maybe I got to read this a couple more times, the one thing that's kind of not clicking with me is the fact that when you read uh, the, the whole exile stuff right here, the first time each ally loses exile, I got to maybe read through this again. I'm not seeing how do I get exile on my other allies. I understand how we get exile on the enemy that we've already discussed through Purgle Migration. You're going to migrate the exile, but I'm not seeing this for the other guys. So maybe one, maybe I got to redial in my tactical scanners. Maybe I'm missing thing. Maybe Galactic Legend of Sokotano is going to play around with this exile a little bit more somehow. So I like what I'm seeing though. At the end of the day, this seems to be a really fun kit, really powerful support unit that we have going on here. You know, it's always one of those things when you see a, a character's kit, it's like, oh, okay. You know, you have like Luthen and Trench, like, oh, okay, we'll see, we'll see. Luthen, I think is doing pretty well right now. Then you have things like Bane and, you know, Malikos. It's like, oh man, this looks really good. This is the, this is like in that category. This seems like a lot of fun and probably something that you're gonna wanna chase after, even if you're not gonna get Galactic Legend of Sokotano. But that's it for today. I gotta get rocket and rolling because baby, we got some Grand Arena to do. So if you're watching this right now, Chances are we're inside the Grand Arena Coliseum. Whoo, doing some crazy stuff here. Gary, what are you guys doing back here? Uh, yeah, okay, I don't know. These guys are having a stroke right now, but you know what? I think we're having a stroke of genius over here because around here makes us want to say how it's great to be. What the hell is going on back there? It's great to be in the... In the, in the Gary, are you, are you, are you, are you, can, do you guys need a break? All right, we're going to let these guys take a break. I don't know what's going on. It's great to be in the Empire today.